I had the privilege in September to go down and see Wayne Dyer in Melbourne. And as we know, Wayne has passed on. I just wanted to uh, see how he's travelling <laughs> on the other side. He doesn't want to hurt any of your feelings. <laughs> but his message to you is, never better. <laughs> There's more. Please. I wrote a book. <laughs> Best title ever. Esther's a little awkward in this translation. <laughs> You'll see it when you believe it. That says it all. That says it all. So your work is to let your desire flow and then find a way of practicing your desire. Practice it into such pleasantness that that is the easiest momentum that you feel. And then the universe will back you up constantly. Also, there is no death. That's a big misunderstanding. All of us who are dead would like you to get over that notion. <laughs> and you know, it ties in to what we were talking about earlier, about the conditions being so important that you miss the main event. And so that's the thing for you to sort out, isn't it? When we say to you, let's just tell you everything we just said to you in a very concise form. It's right that you want things to manifest because manifested things are the leading edge and that's what you are here about. And that's what we are here about helping you be about. And do not misunderstand. Do not think that the things that you are manifesting are only for you. They are the full manifestation of that which we desire also. So you are the manifestors. You are the plucking of the fruit from the trees. You are the full-fledged end result of all that we all exist about. Can you feel how important that is? So never feel uncomfortable about the materialism, the manifestation of things, because this is the leading edge and that's what we are all about. But find a way to be happy anyway before the manifestation has occurred. That really is the key. You gotta find a way to be happy in the uncondition. So let's think about this. Let's talk about this. This is something that Wayne was hard at all of his working career. He was always wanting you to understand how your world could be better, how to see it a little bit differently in order to allow yourself a little bit different experience. And he walked the earth looking for master after master after master after master and did his best to understand and then put it into the condensed version and brought it to you again and again and again and again. Some of you would say, what? Another direction? Yes, another direction, another way of looking at it, another way of finding your worthiness if you're willing to do it, you see. So here you are in this physical form, wanting things, desiring things, and some of what you desire not yet manifested. Let's say that you want, we're sniffing you out, <laughs> taking a general consensus, <laughs> averaging it out, <laughs> $10 million in your bank right away. Some of you are bringing the average way down <laughs> with your very small thinking. You want $10 million in your bank account and you'd like it to be now. Well, as we take a poll on your belief system right now, we are accurate in saying it's not likely it's going to be there when you get home. It's not likely that that manifestation is going to happen today. So you have a desire and a belief that doesn't match. You see what we're talking about? The condition and your desire are nowhere in the same vibrational vicinity. And 
there's very little that you could do today to change that that condition is sort of where it's at you following us but you have the ability to find the uncondition of that now you can find the essence of that money within just a few moments of conversation with yourself you can conjure a feeling of prosperity you can feel abundant in the resources that surround you you could feel abundant in time or abundant in friends or abundant in pleasure you could take a long hot shower and feel appreciation for the abundance of that water you see what we're getting at you can accomplish the uncondition of that small fortune you could do it now you could do it today you could practice it every day until that's the vibrational frequency that you have about that and then what happens is that vibrational reality that is pulsing here and presenting itself to you in endless ways because you're now in the receptive mode you get an idea do you ever say that oh I just got the best idea and then you think about it and you kill it <laughs> I just got the best idea you know when that idea comes that's you that's you having been in your uncondition in your uncondition that is not opposing what you want so you're in sync with what you want and because you're in sync with what you want the manifestation of it has begun but if what you need is for the manifestation then when that happens you say oh it still hasn't happened and then you return to a vibration that doesn't allow it to happen and you do that we love you so much you know what's coming next over and over again you get into the receptive mode the idea comes and then you face reality and that's what keeps you from allowing the momentum of that to gain speed did you get that can you feel the uncondition of it can you feel the emotion you've heard us say this before we've said it for a long time and we say it loud because we so much want you to hear it as if volume would make a difference the universe does not hear your words the universe hears your vibration and you have to be in the vibrational frequency of what you want in order for it to move forward for you the other day Esther was coming out of the gate at a driveway in a new house that she's purchased about a year ago she was with her sister and they were coming out the gate it's a long rather steep driveway and every time she comes out the gate she bumps the nose of her car because there's a gully there and someone told her that if she would crank the wheel to the left and go through it sort of cattywampus that that wouldn't happen and so she's been doing that for about a year and every time she bumps her nose so Jeannie says yeah I came out the other day and I just hugged the right really 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 close and Esther said well I've come down this driveway about 5,000 times and I bump my nose every time and Ginny is laughing she says isn't there some joke about the definition of insanity about <laughs> doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results that's what Esther had going on she wasn't getting what she wanted and so the next time they came down the driveway together Esther did what Jeannie suggested and there was no bump and Esther could hardly believe it she thinks she's really smart she could hardly believe it that her habit that someone had told her how to not bump her nose and even though it didn't work she kept doing it anyway <laughs> over and over and over and over and over and over again you don't even realize what habits of thought you have going but when you start caring about the way you feel not just the results that you're getting but the way you feel then things start loosening up for you I find that uh, I'm a performer as well so I'm, I'm an MC I do hip-hop and I find that some of the best work that I do is in the creative moment of that idea so I do what they call freestyle so I actually capture a feeling within myself to then use words but those kind of like really charged words nice words that actually reflect the situation so. it's such a nice thing when you get that idea if you can act on it because when that idea comes you're in the receptive mode and the inspiration to act is now and so 
that's when you get the best results, isn't it? Good. Enough? Thank you very really much. Really good. good conversation. Stand if you think it's you. Yes.